This is one of my absolute favorite side dishes. It's caramelized Brussels sprouts with parsnips and bacon. It's so simple, absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoy it. You will need 750 grams of sprouts, six large cloves of garlic, 750 grams of parsnips, 500 grams of streaky bacon, 80 grams of duck fat, unsalted butter, and flake salt. Begin by removing the thick fibrous core and then peeling away the outer leaves. You can discard the core because we won't need this, but do keep the leaves as we're going to blanch these and add this to the mix later. Once you've done this, cut the sprouts in half and put them into a separate bowl so you should have a bowl of the leaves and now a bowl of the sprouts. Next up, we're going to peel the parsnip. So start by removing the peel from the top of the parsnip and then peeling down in long, nice, even strokes. Turning the parsnip in your hand as you go. Repeat this with all the parsnips and now we're going to top and tail the parsnips just by trimming off the ends and then cut in half and then cut lengthways again into quarters. There is a thick fibrous core running down the centre of the parsnip which we want to remove as quite often it doesn't break down during the cooking process. So now it's time to cut the parsnips into small bite-sized chunks. Just make sure they're roughly the same size so they cook at that same time. And now peel the cloves of garlic, discarding the peel. Take the cloves and very finely slice with a sharp knife. I find the most safest and efficient way to do this is by tucking your fingers under at the second knuckle and letting the knife slide up and down against your fingers so you cannot slice them. Our next task is to slice the streaky bacon. I use smoked streaky bacon. The streaky bacon has a little bit extra fat, which is gonna render out in the pan, which I'm gonna show you shortly. We just cut these into nice little fat lardons. Now it's time to start cooking. Heat a large fry pan over a medium heat and add the duck fat, followed by our fat little pieces of parsnip and season with flake salt. Now bring a saucepan of salted water to the boil and add the sprout halves and let them cook for a couple of minutes. While our sprouts are cooking, continue to caramelise the parsnips until they're deep golden brown and absolutely delicious. And at this point, we'll add the smoked streaky bacon lardons and we'll let them caramelise in the pan also. And while that's happening, we can remove the sprouts from the boiling water and set aside. Continue to caramelise the parsnips in that beautiful smoky bacon. And now in the same pot of boiling salted water, we can add the outside leaves of the sprouts. We will cook these for one to two minutes, then drain them well and refresh them in a bowl of ice water to stop the cooking process. This is now starting to look amazing. You can see all that beautiful juicy fat rendering out of the bacon and flavoring the parsnips. Remove from the pan, but keep all the juices in the pan because we're now gonna caramelize the sprouts. Cut side down into the hot pan with all that rendered bacon fat. And we're going to keep caramelizing the sprouts until they're beautiful, delicious, and golden brown. Turn a couple over so you can have a look. Look at that color. Absolutely amazing. And it's about now we want to add the unsalted butter and also add the sliced garlic. Once the butter has mounted, it'll start to froth and turn nut brown and just add an extra dimension and beautiful depth of flavor to those delicious sprouts. And now we're going to add a caramelized bacon and parsnips back to the saucepan and mix that round of all the juices of the rendered fat from the bacon, the beautiful duck fat, the slightly burnt butter, the amazing garlic. It's so juicy and absolutely delicious. And now add those leaves of sprouts that we cooked before and finish with a generous pinch of flake salt. Now it's simply just a case of removing all this goodness from your saucepan, place it into your serving bowl. I love just to eat this as it is, but it also makes a wonderful garnish or a side dish to roast pork, beautiful steaks, and even pan fried barramundi and salmon. I hope you give it a go. It really is one of the best ways to eat sprouts. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment. Thank you.